second behind. Four thirty six left. Three, two, 
Kill on Alexa Schultz. Couple solo throws, nobody home now. MSU will retreat. Kudich gonna lead the charge for Akron here. Goes high over stack. Ava Stack uh, name showed up on one of our players to watch list here. Solo throw, Kudich blocks it away. Another one by Ali Pohl. This is Abby Emery wide. Akron running out of time, but trying to come back here. Thank you. 
Ellie Pole directing traffic for the Spartan solo pro from the middle of Akron. Back and Tiffany. Abby Emery goes down on the throw from Allie Pole. MSU in command now, hanging on to a 4-2 lead. Akron threatening to come back here. And Tiffany gets disarmed there. Team throw on Kudich, nobody home, so. Don't look now, after Akron. Kudish and Nicholson here. Right in front of our screen here. I don't know if we caught that on camera. Kudish went down. Yeah. Kudish right kind of had it secured. It bounced up. And then Ali pulled with a big key kill there. That might ice it for MSU here. Nicholson going to try to come back from a two on one to close this gap. We're just under five minutes to go here. Second half action. Might be a national title preview here, although I think uh, I think the Vikings will have something to say about that as well. We'll see. I love Long goes. Nicholson must be looking catch here. Yep. Quickly dropped to her knees. I don't know how she does that without knee pads. I'm too old to do that, but. It looked like it hurts. Yeah. Body on the line. Throw. Nice. Team throw, nobody home there. Nicholson just got to watch her feet. Here comes Cole and Stack. Nicholson might have thought she kind of stepped out and then stayed there for a second, hesitated, and Allie Cole was like, let's just make sure she's out now. So good finish to that one. MSU jumps out five to do. That might be an insurmountable lead here with about three and a half minutes left. These points are a little bit faster, smaller court, fewer folks starting, but... Short and halves. This is funny. <laughs> I need to worry about that next. Who's going to get to this one? I was about to take a look on the floor. Three minutes left. Okay. So MSU is going to stay on here and play Cleveland State next on this court. So that'll be another marquee matchup here, title contenders. MSU getting the better of the run up again here now. Good kill by Kudich and team catch by Nicholson saves her there. Catch by Schultz there, nice hand catch. Throw there by Schultz into the corner. Good block. Another Spartan up in the corner here. Only two Spartans left. Schultz off the court now for Akron there on the trade. But Akron in firm command at this point. MSU in firm command of the, the match so far. And here Coach, uh, Coach Wynn telling her player, we don't need a catch here. We're up by three. Just block. Stay safe. Team throw in the corner. Nobody home on Tiffany there. One, one went wide, one bounced. A 
couple blocks by the Spartans here in either corner. They're just looking to stay alive, kill out this last minute, get out of here with a win. They'll stay on this court, like we said, they'll take on the Vikings of Cleveland State next. That'll be a good matchup here. A couple of teams wearing green today, so we'll try to keep that straight for you folks. <laughs> Another match that'll be littered with littered with all Americans. 20 seconds to go, second half here. MSU gonna get out of here with a 5-2 victory. I, I guess you would call this a definitely a, a technical upset here. Akron came in as the presumptive favorites, but MSU sending an early message here today during our pool play. Abby Emery throws wide and that'll do it. MSU going to get out of here with a big victory, sending a message to the Zips here. 5-2. Like I said, hang with us. We'll get the scoreboard reset. Up next, we're going to have the Vikings of Cleveland State taking on the Spartans of Michigan State. They'll stay here for one more match.